I actually recorded all of this and now I have to re-record it because I forgot to use my mic. <laughs> If you've never been here before, hi, howdy, how are you doing? My name is Keshvi and in this video, we're going to be talking about things that I was surprised about when I first moved to Canada. If that's something that interests you, you should probably hit that subscribe button, like now. And if you haven't seen my previous video, I have actually already done one like this and I will link it just up here and I'll link it in the description below. So go check that out. This video is not disrespectful to Canadians. I love Canada, I love everything about it, but it is just things that I found surprising when I went there, things that I wasn't expecting, um, things that I didn't realize were a thing, I guess. I hope you guys enjoy. These are five more things that I wish I knew before I moved to Canada. So there were, were quite a few things in Canada which I was surprised at how expensive they were. One of them was the phone plans because you can get super cheap phone plans in the UK for data. Like I'm paying 10 pounds a month and I get like eight gigs of data and limited calls and texts. Whereas in Canada, I was paying $65 and that's not even including tax. So including tax was about $75. I get unlimited calls, unlimited texts and eight gig of data, which is insane. And like neither plan includes a phone. So much more expensive. And you, the thing that really like was surprised me was that it didn't include anything special. It wasn't like, oh, you get international calls or you get this. There was nothing special about that plan. It was just like such a basic plan and it cost me that much. I was with Fido and I actually think that they had some of the best prices. So in the UK, we don't have a big tipping culture. One of the things that surprised me was that in Canada, being a server could be like a career. In the UK, that is not how it is. Generally, people will like kind of do other things or they'll move up to management. Like they'll want to move up, up, up in a company. They won't want to stay as a server. I worked in a restaurant in Toronto and in Whistler and the servers there all lived off their tips and not their wages. Blew my mind. And the fact that people did this once they started, they did it for the rest of their lives. When I was in Toronto, some of the guys that I was working with had been serving for like 30 plus years and they were making good money. I couldn't get my head around it. I just, it still now baffles me. Being in a service industry, people should get tips because you get so much crap for being in the service industry from people just generally. Okay, so let's talk about an English classic. Tea. If you guys know me, all of my first videos, I would ha always have a cup of tea in my hand. However, if you go into Canada and you ask for tea, they will give you not black tea, which is what we're used to, they will give you orange pico because apparently that is their standard in Canada and it does not taste the same as black tea. Mm -mm -mm. Nope. If you are a tea lover like me, I have it in my blood. I am Indian and British, so, you know, it was never not gonna happen. You have to ask for either black tea, no, not even black tea, don't ask for black tea. Ask for English breakfast tea, because that is the only way that you're gonna get normal black tea. Trust me, you do not wanna have orange pico. I mean, try it once, if you like it, go for it. Also, when you go to the shops, and you look in the tea section, it will be full of orange pico. <laughs> you literally have to search for what they call English breakfast tea. I thought that was really strange because I generally believe that tea is tea wherever you go, but apparently I was wrong. <laughs> I don't want you to make the same mistakes. The next thing that surprised me was how expensive flying from one part of Canada to the other part of Canada is. This might not be everywhere in Canada, but I remember I paid the same amount to fly from Toronto to Vancouver than I did to fly from Vancouver to London, UK. I'm sorry, what? Isn't that crazy? Like, how did I spend exactly the same amount of money going within a country than I did going to the UK. 
which is a 10 hour flight. That's a long, like it's quite a long flight. I think I paid for my flight from Toronto to Vancouver, I paid $260 or something. And then, but to fly from Vancouver to London, I think I pay, yeah, I might pay 250, something like that. I pay, paid around the same. I wish I'd known how expensive inter-country travel actually is. And the last thing that surprised me about Canada or that I wish that I'd known was how much like prices for gas and like car insurance and everything changes state to state. Like it is so much more expensive to have a car and like fill up your car in BC than it is in Alberta. We were um, doing our road trip. We filled up our car in Alberta, like just near the border. And we were paying like one, I think it was like 108 or something per litre. And literally the moment we got into BC, the prices shot up. Like, I mean, like we went from paying 108 to paying like 138. And, and also the other thing is you have to change insurance policies depending on like where you are. Like if you spend a certain amount of time in a different state, I think it's like more than three months, you have to change your um, insurance over to that state. You can't keep it as Alberta registration. If you're in BC for six months, you have to change it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that it brought some light um, onto what it's like to go to Canada as a British person. This is not me saying I don't like Canada or anything like that. I'm just saying these are the differences that I found between Canada and the UK or things that I was surprised about. So it's all in good jest. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And I mean, you should probably hit that subscribe button now. I hope you guys have a great day, have a great night, have a great week. If you have any questions, either put them in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram. My I'll put my at just here. Um, I love replying to your questions and i will either see you on instagram or i'll see you in the next video travel safe and stay happy i am and oh my name is keshvi surprised about uh in this series i talk oh yeah